So it wasn't until I was going through footage that I uh, realized I did not film an intro. And I want to just take a second now and tell you guys how sincerely thankful I am to know how many of you out there are like avid viewers of mine. It was honestly overwhelming and such a humbling experience like seeing how many of you were willing to come up to me and say what's up, say how much you like my channel and how it, my channel has helped you out in some way and how much you guys love the content and everything like that. Like. That means so much to me. It's one thing reading comments from you guys and seeing that you guys say that I help you out in some way. It's another thing when you guys go out of your way and hit me up on social media and follow me on social media saying how much my videos have helped you out or like what good information I've provided for you. And don't get me wrong, like I'm forever grateful to each and every one of you that have done that. But it's a whole another experience just seeing how many people are willing to literally go out of their way come right up to me and say, I love your videos, or like your content's awesome, I love your channel, or even like a couple of the people that I met at Fred Hall also said like they weren't really all that into fishing and my channel helped them get them into fishing. And that, that was really cool as well. That makes me feel so proud that I'm helping other people get into the sport and find a love and passion for the sport of fishing. That's honestly such an amazing thing and I couldn't be any more grateful. To those of you at the booth with all the rod wrapping stuff, I'm so sorry that I didn't come back. Had to dip out and go check out the raffle uh, for the G baits because it started at two. I was all done with the giveaway or with the raffle. I meant to come back, but I couldn't I couldn't remember what booth it was at, and I, I felt really bad that I didn't come back and stop by, so um, hope you guys forgive me, but uh, you guys gave me a lot of good information, filled me in on a lot of blanks, and you guys are super knowledgeable in that aspect, and that, that really helped me out. Figure out what I want to do with my blanks, uh, what I'm going to build, and what I'm looking into building in the near future as well, so thank you guys so much. What I wanted to do was film everybody that stopped me, but in the moment, it's just like I'm talking to all these guys, talking fishing. The last thing that comes to your mind is to bring out a camera and just pretty much shove it in someone's face. Felt like that would be kind of rude. That's the whole reason why a lot of you guys were not filmed in the vlog that day. If you wanted to be in the vlog, I'm sorry. Uh, if you see me again some other time and you want to be in the vlog or in the video for the day, let me know and I will make sure to bring out the camera. And so what I did gather, I think I, I, I got a good amount of footage to uh, make a decent video. So I'm gonna roll those clips and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Out here at the Turner's booth, the homie Tim just yo, stopped yo. me. Thanks for saying what's up, dude. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Yep, See you out here, meeting some of the viewers. Good day. Where are you at, Rick? I don't know. You're at the Fred Hall Show. Oh, I'm at the, at the Fred Hall Show. I'm trying to uh, land a sailfish. It's going airborne right now. It said nobody's landed a sailfish yet, so I want to be the first. Remember, fishing.evic.com. Look up Scatry Sim Fish Simulator. We sell them for home use, for businesses, you name it. Rod companies test out their rods with them. Reels have that. Guys have parties with them. 20 of their buddies are all fishing all night. It's real, man. My arms, my arms tired. <laughs> my back's getting sore. It's like a real yeah. fish. And this is only level one. It goes all the way up to level five. You'll be here for a couple hours. <laughs> this is a good warm up. I haven't fought anything big in like in a while, six months. So I forgot what a pulling fish feels like. This will definitely get you in shape for catching a big fish. Oh, for sure. And it will correct you as well. So if, if let's say if the sailfish jumps out of the water and shaking his head, you pull on it, the hook will pop out of his mouth and you lose. So is this simulator kicking your ass? This is actually kicking my ass. You've only been fighting it for six minutes. Is it? Oh. Everyone's saying it's not being a girl, I just get it in. Hey, you know what? That's right. Try harder. Oh, you got it. Fish taken. That selfish kicked my ass. That was insane. We're out here at G-Rats right now, and uh, while I'm looking at the swim baits, just 
ran into a viewer right here. His name's Juan. Yeah, nice to meet you. It's, uh, it's good to stop by and uh, nice to meet you, man. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. So, like I said, we're over here at G Rats, and Gary Dixon's going to talk a little bit more about some of the baits he likes to throw and what he likes to use. So, these are our sneaky Pete. Our sneaky Pete is eight inches long, tip of line tie, tip of tail. Comes with a hundred pound line tie, hundred pound barrel swivels, hundred forty pound insert, heavy duty pins. Comes with an interchangeable tail. We offer it in eight different color tails. We have also Magic Mouse. The Magic Mouse is a lipless swimming. The only lipless, both of our Magic Mouse and our swimming rat are both lipless. They swim with no bill. They also come with the same components as I spoke with about those and that rotating hook hanger also. Awesome baits on the market. This bait weighs 2.4 ounces. Our Sneaky Pete weighs 2.5 ounces. And our swimming rat weighs 4 ounces. These baits are awesome. Go ahead and get you some. They're big fish baits. You won't be disappointed. Got all this big giant fish right here. My buddy Mattel was trying to figure out which one he wanted, and uh, he recommended this for black fish. He caught a nine pounder on this one. Lake Toho. Lake Toho on this guy right here. How you guys doing? I'll leave a link in their description to their Instagram down below, and uh, I recommend you guys check them out. They got some sweet swim baits. What's going on, Randy? Got the steel baits right here. If you guys are in the area, make sure you come by and pick them up. They're so rad. Great swimmers. If you guys didn't know, I'm going to Cedros in September with Cedros Sport Fishing, so it should be a crazy one. I'm looking to be, get my PB yellow. Hopefully, we can make it happen. There's a ring out there, a little floating hula hoop. I'm trying to get it to land, and it's about. It's about 40, 50 yards out. I keep overcasting, trying to get to land right into it. Came back at the G-Rat, literally last raffle off that they've done. They've got here at the very last ticket. I happen to have that ticket in hand. I just won, so now I get to pick out my bait. All right, can I do this one right here? Absolutely. I can tell you if you missed it. What? That was sweet. It was actually a really, really cool day. I didn't get a whole lot from Fred Hall this year as I do in the usual years. This year it was more so the fact of just conserving my money for the two biggest purchases, which was the Trinx 500. I've been wanting one for a really long time. I also got the Okuma Komodo 300. We're gonna put those aside. We're gonna talk about a couple companies that I wanna address to you guys. Actually, we can start off with this one. Performance Tackle, that's where I was picking up the war baits from. They are located in Los Almitos. I'm pretty sure that's near Newport or Huntington. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive that's not too far from there. But again, Performance Tackle, they're super knowledgeable there. Any kind of questions that you have from anything from saltwater fishing to pretty much everything that they have for freshwater fishing, they're super knowledgeable and they'll help you out with almost anything. I was asking as many questions as I could about calico bass fishing because I don't know a whole lot about calico fishing and uh, that's not very helpful for the trip that I have planned. So I was talking to Afrin, picking his brain apart. He was able to give me some good information about Cedros Island itself and also about calico, calico fishing in general. Huge thank you to you guys. That was awesome uh, meeting and talking to you guys and, and you helped me out a lot. Next up is Ahi USA Promar. Honestly, I didn't know a whole lot about this company. I knew that they made the uh, the big diamond jigs. They also make these deception jigs. I've seen these a lot. I've never actually used one. And I asked if you were able to throw these across the surface and if they would uh, if they would swim pretty well. Uh, one of the guys that I was talking to, he actually told me that what he likes to do is put a bend in them because they're just made of lead. So you can actually just bend them with your hand. But when you get that nice bend to them, they react like a flat ball and they have that flutter on the drop. And then also when you're swimming across the surface, they, they, they have a nice little kick to them as well. So I'm definitely gonna get a couple of these and try those out because that, that sounds pretty cool. I wanna expand my variety of lures because sometimes when fish aren't biting on one thing, 
it's that different pattern and different, and different presentation that, that the fish might be hitting on as well. And another thing that I thought was really cool are these jig heads right here. They're actually made of acrylic. These acrylic jig heads are really nice because I know a lot of people like to do a, a, a heavy jig on the bottom and then either a hook or a jig head on top and put a whole squid on the top. Those jig heads tend to weigh down and they can wrap around your line. But uh, these things are actually really, really light because they're made of acrylic, like a plastic, and they'll just flutter in the current. So those are those are going to be really helpful as well. Uh, I definitely recommend checking those out. I've never seen them before until then, but they are pretty rad, and I think I'm going to get a couple of those as well. I knew they made sabikis and rock hot jigs. They have a little bit of almost everything that you can think of, like minnow traps, crab nets, crab pots, cast nets, regular nets, gaffs, clubs, literally everything that you can think of, they pretty much make it. So they're worth checking out. I didn't know much about them until that day, but I learned a lot of cool information from them. That's a company that I would recommend from here on. If you guys follow me on social media and literally if you guys have watched my Yellowtail videos in general, you know that I highly, highly recommend the steel baits. They're over at the Fish Elite booth and uh, they had some really, really rad stickers and shirts. This one remind me, I mean, it's pretty much like the Bones Brigade logo, but obviously he's holding a dead or skeletal largemouth bass, and I thought that was super sweet, along with this yellowtail sticker chomping down on a squid. So um, I'm planning on getting a new truck here soon, so I figured I better swoop these up while I can, put these on my truck as soon as I find one. But again, highly, highly recommend steel baits. If you did not get a chance to pick one up at Fred Hall, uh, I will leave a link in to his Instagram in the description below and you'll be able to message him on there and try to get your hands on one of these jigs because they are ready to swim right off the rack. And I mean, you cannot beat that logo. I don't think any jig out there has a logo better than that one. Pretty sweet. Stool baits, definitely recommend them. Uh, there's a bunch of raffles at Fred Hall, a bunch of free stuff that you can get. And these were some of the winnings. We got Mustad hooks, uh, sizes 3-aught and 5-aught, so those are going to go straight to the tackle bag. And these are the ultra points, so I don't know if you can tell, but the, uh, the, sh the hook shank actually goes pretty far. I mean, they're called ultra points for a reason. If the camera's picking up on that, it's pretty pretty gnarly a hook shank. Uh, my dad won some J Daiwa J Braid. If you went to the casting pond and you get a little ticket that you take back inside, pull a key out of a bag, and there's like 50 keys or something like that, if you pull the right key, it unlocks a lock, and when you open it up, you either get braid or some other kind of prize. My dad got 50 pound braid of 300 yards, so that is as well going in the tackle bag. G rats. I will leave the link in the description below to G rats. These swim baits are pretty insane. Really, really stoked that my buddy Mateo referred me to these guys. He sent me their Instagram and he was like, dude, you gotta check these guys out. They're gonna be at Fred Hall. And uh, he said that he wanted me to pick up one of their swim baits for him since he wasn't able to accompany us this year. Since he is stationed in Florida for the military, I went ahead and I stopped by and I bought this for him. And while I was there, I entered the raffle and uh, I ended up winning. So, pretty stoked on that. I was able to pick out this color. Mateo picked out this color. So I'm pretty stoked on this. So hopefully I'm able to knock off some tank striper or even just tank bass in general on this swim bait. Pretty, pretty excited to test that out. The other guy that was there, his name was Sean. He actually has his own charter company in Sacramento. And if you're looking to target some trophy striped bass, he's the guy to contact. I'll leave all the information in the description below. I highly recommend hitting this guy up if you're going to be in Sacramento or if you're just in NorCal in general and you're uh, trying to knock off a big striper, this is the guy to contact. So again, this information will be in the description below and I definitely recommend hitting him up. Uh, if you hit him up, let him know that you heard about him from the Dirty Hookers. While we're talking about charter businesses, uh, this is another charter business out in San Diego, Boundless Boat Charters. They have an Instagram and I will leave a link to their Instagram and website in the description below as well. He said he likes to target a lot of big halibut, but he also goes to Coronados and does a lot of calico fishing and he likes to target yellowtail as well. So if you're in the San Diego area and you're looking to get on a private boat instead of one of the sport boats, I highly recommend talking to Captain Mark and try to hop on his boat with him. He'll put you on the fish. Komodo 300. Went ahead and picked up the 300. I, I have a couple in my room. I went ahead and pulled the trigger on a Komodo 300. I'm pretty stoked on this reel. The Komodos are a pretty beastly little reel. This is a 363, I believe. 
364. I have a couple of Lexa 300s that I have been using for the past couple years. I felt like from here on, I should probably have something with a little bit more uh, drag pressure. Try out the Komodo 300. People say I should get the Trance 300 or 400. And in my opinion, I just don't think I need the Trance unless it's a 500. And if you were to buy the Komodo there at Fred Hall, you were able to get a free rod. This is the Axion. Action? I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's the Action Pro. Pretty sweet little rod. It's rated 20 to 40 pound test. So it's a perfect fit for my 300 already. So just by buying the Komodo, I already have a full new setup. It looks pretty sweet. It looks good on there. Pretty stoked on that. Can't wait to put this to use. Calico fishing, rat yellows, striper fishing, bonito fishing, barracudas. This will be a fun little setup right here. And then, last but not least, what everybody has wanted to see for so long. I finally own the Trinx 500. I went ahead and got the HG instead of the PG because of the fact if I'm throwing irons, I want that faster retrieve rate because I want to be in a nice steady pace when I'm retrieving an iron. And that way if I have to get a reaction bite, I can just do quick little turns real fast instead of already be cranking pretty fast and then have to spaz out to trigger a reaction bite. So I got the HG, it's a 6.6 .6 to one gear ratio. I think the PG is only like four point something to one gear ratio. So high gear ratio was more ideal for what style of fishing I'm doing. I'm a little bummed because when you purchase the tranks of any size along with the Trinidad and I think the Tautica as well, I'm supposed to take it over to the Power Pro booth and get it spooled up there at the show. Uh, I just didn't have time to do that, so unfortunately, I didn't get it spooled up at the show, and uh, I'm gonna have to spool it up myself. I'm probably gonna go 65 pound braid. A couple of people were telling me to go 80 pound braid, but I'm looking for that maximum line capacity on here, and I think with 65 pound braid, I should probably get about 400 yards on here, which would be an incredible amount of line on a little bait caster like this. So that is actually everything that I got from Fred Hall. Didn't buy a whole lot, and that was just because I was saving my money for these two reels. Super stoked, can't wait to put some fish on these new setups, along with my new stuff. I'm thinking about taking this to Cedros, throwing it out, maybe getting a yellowtail on it. I think it would be pretty sweet to get a yellowtail on a swim bait. They got a lot of action, and they gave a good wake. I don't see why a yellowtail wouldn't hit it, along, or also a calico, a calico would smash that as well. Not ideal colors for calico fishing. Couldn't hurt to throw it out and see what happens. That's everything that I got from Fred Hall. Again, thank you so much to every one of you that stopped me and said what's up. I'm forever grateful. That was an amazing experience seeing how many of you guys are like avid viewers of me and a couple of you guys saying that I was the one that got you into fishing. That was insane to think about. Like I, I'm so, so proud that I was able to get a handful of you guys into fishing that weren't into it before they, you guys watched my videos. Pretty awesome, stoked about that. Stoked on all of you guys that said what's up. It was awesome meeting all of you guys in person. Hope to meet a lot more of you guys in the near future. Thank you all for watching so much. Give this video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. That's right, like and subscribe, you motherfuckers. <laughs> and I will see you all next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Jerky, 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 jerky. <laughs> <God damn. laughs>